the Cambridges see through plot under Harry's tell all book, refuse to make amends with the Duke. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William don't want to be seen cozying up to Prince Harry ahead of his book release later this year, it is claimed. Prince Harry reunited with his brother, Prince William and Kate at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. But the Duke of Sussex's upcoming memoir has forced William to keep his distance, royal expert Neil Sean has claimed. He pointed out there could be further bombshells in the book. According to a royal commentator, Prince Harry's bombshell memoir is set to shake the monarchy to the core, with some sources suggesting he could deepen his rift with his brother and father by going after Camilla, who is he reportedly can't stand. It was asked, one does wonder about those pictures of that very brief contact between Harry and Meghan and the royals during the Jubilee weekend, maybe that will be the very last time that will happen? With that book that Prince Harry is writing or ghosting or however he's putting it together, which is meant to have contained explosive stuff that makes the interview with Oprah Winfrey look like a cozy chat. With the book at the moment, they're deciding what to leave in and what to take out, and I think that's one of the big issues going on between Harry and his publishers at the moment. But the book's coming and we'll be talking about that on this program in the autumn. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Mr. Sean claimed, a lot of people questioned why didn't Kate and William reach out and make contact. After all they were very close brothers and Prince William is about to hit 40. There's one big problem that William really can't get over as with his father, Prince Charles and that is the forthcoming book deal that Harry has looming that he's refusing to release any details of it. William doesn't really want to be seen cozying up to someone who could possibly be doing irreparable damage to the monarchy. It comes as it was a magnificent seven who surrounded the Queen at the Jubilee Finale, the core members of the royal family who are shaping the monarchy. As the Queen, in her end of Jubilee written message, outlined her commitment to serve to the best of my ability supported by my family, it was to these seven she was referring. On hand and greatly depended on will also be the Princess Royal, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, and the Queen's cousins, who have devoted their lives to royal duty. It was a symbol of a focused monarchy, reminiscent of the Diamond Jubilee balcony appearance in 2012 when the numbers were trimmed to a slimmed down group of six, including the Queen. But with Harry no longer at the forefront of royal life, and the arrival of the Cambridge great grandchildren, the family lineup has changed. Speaking to another source, one said that Harry chucked it all away after turning back on family. He continued, It's turning your back on your family in a way and you've got to stick with your family. He added that you can't help who you fall in love with, and he has a right to go out with whoever he wants, but Harry and Meghan, I think they've gone a bit over the top. Another Briton declared that Harry has thrown his life away. He said, he was really liked by people. He had the army stuff, and he was really out there with people. He added, he's chucked all of that in the bin over, essentially, a bird. He then quipped, he's like the king of I've got someone, see you later, I'm off. 